On today's show, we discuss the Denver Nuggets' brutal loss and whether Dame Time has entered the MVP conversation. In Crossfire, who's the best player under 25? Who will we see first, Kawhi or Markel Fultz? And we debate the most impressive part of the Rockets' 16 game win streak. It's Wednesday, March 7th. The starter starts now. Welcome to the Starters, presented by Jack Daniels, Tennessee Honey. Whether you're joining us live right now on NBA TV, watching later on YouTube, maybe listening to the podcast, we're happy to have you. I'm Jay Skeets, and alongside me, as always, that's Tess Mellis. You should definitely be watching. <laughs> to his right, the international banana man of mystery, taking it to the POTAS, <laughs> Lee Ellis. Friend. Lee And last, certainly not least, over yonder, that is the bearded one, that's Trey Kirby. Hey! Hey, yo, TK, what's popping over there? Well, I'm here at the internet looking for your best tweets at hashtag the starters. And guys, yesterday, NBC Sports Philadelphia plugged in their controllers, blew the dust out of their cartridges, and fired up some Super Dario Brothers. That's right, they rainbowed up the homie Dario Sarge, hit him with the superstar power-up music, and let him run wild like a regular Nintendo character. I actually think he looks a little bit more like Luigi, but nonetheless, I'm pretty sure this makes TJ McConnell the Yoshi of the Sixers, but it's hard to tell for sure. But it brings us to today's question. What are some other NBA video games? And I'm not talking about 2K or Streets or Live. We're talking about classics like Grand Theft Auto Porter or The Tims, or if you're really old school, LeBrontra. It's an impossible game to beat, just like LeBron. But we want to hear from you, so let us know on Twitter. What are some other NBA video games? Not the real ones, the pun ones. Send us your best tweets to hashtag the starters. We'll hear from you later. All right, get those tweets in. Yes, it is payoff day here on the yeah. starters. Lee paying off his February pick'em <laughs> loss. How you feeling? Uh, I feel fine. I just don't think you know I'm actually wearing a banana costume. It looks more like I'm wearing a cocktail dress or something. <laughs> you look an, sexy, an elaborate man. one, yeah. Um, well, I know as uncomfortable as I'm sure you yeah. are and how hot it is and constricting <laughs> it is. Well, it's not that hot because I've got nothing on well, underneath. Well, there's so. a little bit more. There's a little bit more <laughs> oh, to this challenge. Oh, great, great. Uh, there's a food portion oh, for this challenge. You oh, might think that you'd be eating a lot of soup because yeah. that's been in the news recently. Maybe a lot of chicken McNuggets. <laughs> no, no, no. You're going to be taking down your one true love today. We're going to oh. turn your one true love into your nightmare. Oh, okay. You're eating bananas, banana oh, man. Oh, great. You're, great. E you're eating your cousins. Let's bring them in here. <laughs> so, Lee. Oh, awesome. You got a whole bunch of bananas to take down okay. throughout the show. Do you have any uh, cinnamon or peanut butter I can put on them? No, Lee. Oh, straight up. <laughs> cinnamon. Great. Now, now, Lee, look, look. We really want you <laughs> to put in a good in. effort here. You love bananas. Yeah, I do, yeah. Um, so we want Ooh. you to put in a good effort. It's not really uh, that right, this one. Collectively, All right. <laughs> $25. For every banana you can eat to a charity of your choice. Oh, okay. So let's get going, buddy. Okay, let's do it. Take them down. <laughs> and when you take down each banana, mm. we'll ring a bell. How many of you? How track. many have you eaten today? Three. Ah, uh, that was wow. a mistake. Yeah, mm. you shouldn't have done that. No, I can't, man. I can't get change the routine. How many do you think you can take down? <laughs> I know I don't want to. Uh -huh. Can you take down that bowl? No way. Come on, that's a bunch of bananas. That? Come on. 20? No, I can't I eat 20 I thought you loved bananas. I do love them. I, can't, I don't go out and eat 20 of them in a regular sitting. Well, why don't you finish that first one, buddy? <laughs> yeah, man. Take Taking out the first time. one before we get Don't stop asking me questions. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, banana, man. Right. Is, it, is it ripe enough? No, you didn't mm, like it. No, it's not as ripe as I like, but it's all right. It's not organic either. I know that's going to upset you. Not organic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out of here, man. <laughs> oh, oh, don't get a shot of those yeah, legs. Keep those legs oh, in. Yeah, all right. So while Banana Man takes down those bananas, mm. uh, let's play a little Is This News. <laughs> Trey's rounded up some recent NBA headlines. He's going to pitch them to us, and we'll determine whether or not they're actually news. And Lee mm. has taken down one banana. Yeah. So let's get that getter. All right, Trey. All right, our first headline is from Mile High Sports, and it reads, Nikola Jokic and Jamal Murray benched as Nuggets let one slip away in Dallas. Is this news? Slipping like you're stepping on a banana peel. Mm. Uh, yeah, big time. This I is big so. time news. Nikola Jokic, Jamal Murray don't play in the fourth quarter. Don't get a great effort from your, definitely your best player, Nikola Jokic, another one of your best players in Jamal Murray. Here at the end of the season, their season is on the line. Mm -hmm. This could mean their season. They have a really road-heavy schedule against the Dallas Mavericks. You don't come out and perform. You get benched. Uh, th this is big. 
It's, uh, they're lucky that the Clippers and Thunder also lost mm. last night when yeah. you're looking at that playoff race. I don't know if it matters, to, to be honest. The way they performed in that one, because they have a road-heavy schedule, they're so bad not playing in Denver. I wonder what the relationship is between Coach Mike Malone, as you see him there, and your best player, Nikola Jokic. Yeah, they, the, they're not on the same page. The Nuggets have been one of the worst defensive teams uh, all season long. 26th defensive rating. But since the All-Star break, they've been somehow even worse. They're 29th in the league since the break. Knicks are the only team worse defensively. And that's even weirder when you consider that Paul Millsap mm. has come back. Obviously one of the better players. I know he's come back from injury, but one of the better defensive players. We thought he would help there, and it hasn't. Do you like the message that Malone was sending here last night of like, look, you're not getting out on shooters. You're not getting out on Dirk. You're not putting in the effort. So I'm benching you, Jokic. I'm benching you, Murray. What do you think? I, I think he's sending a message to his guys saying, listen, if you're not going to play, I don't care who you are. Sit on the bench. They have to make the playoffs this year. Mike Malone's probably coaching for his job at this point. Possible. If they I think don't, so, for sure. If they don't make the playoffs, I think he's in a lot of trouble. So th it takes a lot of courage to say to Jokic and Jamal Murray, who have both been great this year, if you're not going to try, you're going on the bench, and that's right. it. I'll ride with whoever I've got. They still should have beaten Dallas. They're a bad road team anyway. Yeah. Um, they're a very good home team, but they can't even out where you just go on the road and then you lose to teams that you should be beating all the time. Yeah, well, so, he, yeah. here was Coach Malone. He, he addressed the Nuggets' lack of effort. He talked after the game. Quote, it's one thing to miss shots and to make mistakes. It's another thing to go out there and just kind of go through the motions. Right now, if you're not going to go out there Dang and it up. Yeah, ring that bell, bro. Number you're two, not down. going to play. We don't know. We don't owe anybody <laughs> anything. Yeah. Yeah, so he was, you know, very, but, very upset. I mean, not a lot of coaches would have made that move. And, yeah. and sent, sent a message to their star player. But it's really, I guess a desperate coach would. But it's really <laughs> weird that um, Jokic is playing badly <laughs> since uh, Millsap's come back. Right. Weird. It, it, no. Because people who cover the, the Nuggets are saying it's the effort is not there. Yeah. yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, not a lot of men or women make this move. They peel the entire banana. Mm. That's his go-to. He, just drop yeah, it. He does that. Oh, where would you like me to put it? Well, no, 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 no. People <laughs> peel it and Don't eat peel it. the whole thing. Uh, you know, take a yeah. bite. Well, I'm used to sharing. I have a five-year-old and an 18-month-old, and we share them around. So. All right, no sharing. Just yeah. start, eat, start eating them, banana man. All right, yeah. next headline here, Trey. All right, our next headline is from SB Nation, and it says, the NBA warned the Bulls not to rest healthy players. Is this news? This, this is news. Yeah, wow. this is news. This is a problem, though. I, I'm, I don't know how I feel about this because the, the NBA, okay, look, they, they fined Mark Cuban and the Mavs $600,000 when Cuban came out on a podcast and said, you know, it's in our best interest to lose. Blatantly said, we don't want to win these games. Hilariously enough, of course, the Mavericks beat the Nuggets last night. But this is different, right? Because this is the Bulls choosing to, after the All-Star break, you know, even though they're healthy, Robin Lopez... Yeah, you're inactive. Justin Holiday, for the most part, he played one game there. Yeah, you're inactive. We're putting these younger guys in because we want to lose games too. But they can spin it like, well, we just want to see what we have. Mm. So I have a bit of a problem with the NBA just sort of picking and choosing their warnings here and going, hey, hey, they should be playing. Why did they get to decide? It's a great... This is the, be it's this is the best they the bed they made and they got to lie in it. Let's hear Banana Man's um, If I was Robin Lopez, I would hate that. You're a veteran. You're trying to win. It's like, if you're going to do this, why not release me then so I can go and try to find another team. I would hate to just be healthy sitting on the bench doing nothing but this is, you're right, I think if they're going to send this message to the Bulls then they need to send it to the other teams that are just not playing as hard as they can play. Uh, yeah. And, and you know, there's so many te there's so many awful teams right now trying to tank to get that number one pick. Uh, you can't just pick on the Bulls. Other teams in the past we know have done it where they've rested healthy players. But the message has got to be clear. Like you've got to start playing. <laughs> shouldn't the Bulls just play? Out. Shouldn't the Bulls just play Robin Lopez and then the say, last... "Oh, he tweaked his ankle. Yeah. He's out." If I mean, this, this was the last so week of the season or so, you can say, "Okay, fair enough." But there's still a quarter of the season to go, and teams have been doing this already for a lot longer than yeah the last couple of weeks. Well, well the extreme still a quarter of that banana to go. Cram yeah, yeah. It down, I'll, I'll start talking, bro, bro, yeah. bro. Come on, man. <laughs> slowing, you're slowing the flow, man. <laughs> I thought you. would I thought you'd have to get like five, six. Oh, man. Yeah. You've got to enjoy the night. <laughs> <laughs> That's the problem, isn't it? Right. The weird part is that they reached out to the Bulls apparently at the All-Star break. Right. John Paxson, executive vice president of the Bulls, said they reached out at the All-Star break to, there you go, to play our guys. They haven't played them since. Right, right. So it hasn't worked. That's yeah. the strange part. But come on, we all know that they are not playing those players because they want to lose some basketball games, not because they want to look at the future. Right. So I don't, I don't mind that the... After that warning, they're taking that next step and going two different teams. Because, yes, it's a gray area, I yeah, agree, but... Because what if Robin Lopez we now all know, plays? But Robin... we all know that, come on, we said it right here, this was the example of team stanking. We know that, everybody knows. I know, I get this, but it's so silly, right? Because the Bulls are just going to say, okay, Robin Lopez, start. Then you can just pull him after 10 minutes. And maybe yeah, he doesn't play strange. for the rest of the game. Yeah. Well, then what? 
I mean, that's their decision. I get it. But will mm-hmm. the NBA come down on them? Oh, he should be playing 20 minutes at least. Like, where do you draw the line, right? 50 shades of gray. Yeah. There's, there's a lot of them, yeah. All right, final headline here as Lee <laughs> enters his fourth banana. Our <laughs> final headline is from USA Today. And guys, it's official. Damian Lillard is officially in the MVP conversation. <laughs> is this news? Oh, yeah. Welcome to no, the conversation. No, this is not news. This is not He's news. in the conversation. No, no, no. Forget that He could that be part. at the MVP. If, if the MVP table, this is the MVP table. He can be, He'd be here. Sitting we got James here. Harden, we got Giannis, we got Anthony Davis. I don't know how far we're going to go down, but he's there. It's not news for, for two reasons. One, Damian Lillard does this every year. Yeah. He has like a two or three week stretch where he balls out. Usually comes in the second half of the season. That's awesome. It's fun to watch. It's amazing. But, you know, he does this. He's done it before. And the other part is you're saying to us like, yeah, he'd be in conversation. We all know he ain't winning it. It's great. They've got to get 50 wins minimum. But he's not winning it. James no, no. Harden is yeah. running away with this thing. Anthony Davis balling out. Lillard's balling out. You can put Giannis there. You can put LeBron there. Harden, MVP. It's it's case closed to me. Mm-hmm. So it's sort of like, what's the point, I guess? Yeah. So what's the point of talking about it? Let's just watch the man eat Yeah, another, come on. Take down this banana, for the, banana before the break here. <laughs> Let's get a ding in. Just Should we count the other three that he's eaten today? Yeah, come no! on. No! That's Why his not? fault. There you go. Four bananas done. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Loving the shoulders. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, buddy. So oh, oh, sexy. Oh. All right, we got to take a break. When we come back, who is the best player under 25? Trey and Tass will debate that in Crossfire with Banana Lee as the ref. Going to be eating bananas throughout this. To Crossfire presented by Tiso. This is how it works. I'm going to give these bananas three questions, <laughs> and at the end of it all, I will declare a winner. Question one. Here we go. We received some encouraging news this week when Kawhi Leonard told reporters he'd be back soon. Also, workout footage of Markel Fultz appears to show that his shot mechanics are improving, hinting he also may be on the court again soon. Which player do you guys think will be first? Here we go. Well, you nailed it, banana man. Kawhi Leonard spoke today, and like you said, while there's no set date, he said that his pain is diminishing and he could return soon. Who knows when soon is, but don't forget, the guy has already been medically cleared. It's just a matter of when he's actually going to be ready to come back. He has played this calendar year. They say his rehab is heading the right way, so maybe the end of March. Who knows? But I'm going with Kawhi Leonard. I think Marco Fultz is coming back sooner because he has lower expectations than Kawhi Leonard. He doesn't have to carry a team like Kawhi Leonard. I mean, mm-hmm. they can just throw him off the bench like he did earlier this season and check the footage. The guy yeah, is looking look good. good. He looks fantastic. I, I, the, the shot looks better. I don't think they want to go the entire offseason, him not playing, him having to think about it. So I think they'll just squeeze him in there on the bench. The talk is about winning in Philly, not about Markel Fultz anymore. Mm, mm, mm. Wow. Earlier today, I had three bananas, which makes it eight for the day so far. Uh, but also, ESPN released its top 25 players under 25. It's quite a list. But who do you guys have as the best player under 25? And what do you think his potassium level is? <laughs> Let me go. Giannis Antetokounmpo, not sure on the potassium level. He just tried smoothies for the first time a couple of years ago. I bet it was a banana smoothie. Oh, he probably had a banana smoothie at Smoothie King. Potassium level quite high. Mm. His ceiling even higher. He's 23 years old. He can play one through five. He can guard one through five. He's leading the league in minutes played. He's only missed 14 games over his five-year career. I would take Giannis. It's a tough, tough one, though. Mm. Tass is right this week, but or Tass will be right next week. This week it's Anthony Davis because Anthony Davis turns 25 on March 11th. This is his sixth season. It's easy to forget that he's still a young guy, but since Boogie Cousins went out, 33 points, 13 rebounds, 2.5 steals, 2.5 blocks. He's the only guy who has even a chance, I think, of taking the MVP off Westbrook at this point. It's just a hard to remember that he is actually mm. still one of the youngest guys in the league. Mm-hmm. Three Both more days. Is very appealing here. Uh, number three, question three. It's a big day for you, Trey. It's not your birthday, but it's probably your second most important day of the year, National Cereal Day. Oh, thanks, man. So tell me, <laughs> what is the best cereal? Here we go. You know, I used to think it was Cocoa Pebbles. When I was young, it was. And then I thought it was Cinnamon Toast Crunch. But then when I grew up, I found the perfect marriage of two, Chocolate Toast Crunch. Unfortunately, It has since been discontinued. It's not even on their Wikipedia page, but if you've got the Chocolate Toast Crunch hookup, please get at me because I've got to get that sweet, sweet cinnamon and chocolate combo. It's like Mayan chocolate ice cream. So good. This might not be a popular answer, but mine is Alphabets. 
because it's so fun. It's the Lucky Charms without the marshmallows. Yeah. And you can spell so many fun things, like Eric on that 70s show when he looked in his bowl and it said Donna, or like Emily and Pretty Little Liars when there's a bunch of A's, or like um, when Frank said to Raymond, I could have eaten a whole box of alphabets and crapped out a better Bring interview. Bring that bell, <laughs> Number six, woo! What do you say, Banana Man? Uh, Chop it up, get on our yeah, cereals. Well, the uh, Cocoa Pups might have been discontinued, but your winning streak has Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> This one goes out to all the banana fans out there. And seriously, if you have Chocolate Toast Crunch, I'll buy it from you at a 300% markup. Yeah. Two bananas during Crossfire. Mm. When we return, the Rockets, <laughs> they stay balling. LeBron's got new billboards. And Banana Man eats more bananas. <laughs> Don't go anywhere. You can take him down during the break, Banana Man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> the Starters is brought to you by Jack Daniels Tennessee Honey, official partner of the NBA. <clears throat> Welcome back to the Starters. Lee's pick and payoff day. He's taken down six bananas, his one true love, dressed as yeah. a banana. You know how many angry people are going to write in and say, why'd you make him eat bananas? He loves eating bananas. That's what they're going to say. Well, how are you feeling? I feel fine, yeah. <laughs> well, let's start eating more bananas! <laughs> so you're saying they're right. Put in a little more effort, man. We're trying to make money right. for charity. I told you, man, you don't rush a banana. You'll oh, appreciate it. Man. Especially these non-organic ones. Yeah. <laughs> let's play, uh, Fill in the blank as he does continue to eat bananas here. Trey, take it away. Yeah, you know, we're getting closer to free agency because billboards are back! It started with a 76ers themed LeBron billboard near Cleveland, and just today, LA Times beat writer Tanya Ganguly spotted four Lakers themed LA Braun billboards out in Los Angeles. But guys, who's next? Fill in the blanks. Blank should put up a billboard that says blank. That's two blanks. Ooh, double blank. Blank yeah. it up. I'm going with the Raptors should put up a billboard saying Chase Six in the Six. Let's use Drake to our advantage here. LeBron chasing MJ and his six rings. Chase Six in the Six. Oh, yeah. Hashtag King in the North will add there. Mm. Get that going on Instagram. Yeah, we got to use Drake for this. Well, I went a banana boat theme yeah. here. Yeah. Oh, nice. perfect. Uh, Timing. The Rockets should say, let Houston float your boat. Chris <laughs> Paul's already in Houston. LeBron's already on that boat with Chris Paul. Get right. James Harden, Mike D'Antoni's on the front there. Sorry, <laughs> Gabby Union, to do that to you. Um, yeah, get him in there. Lee, what do you I got? think uh, we should create a billboard that says, be the fifth starter, LeBron, <laughs> join us. Because everyone's always saying to us, hey, you call yourself the starters only four, yeah. but we need five. People always say, you guys have never touched a basketball in your life. Well, LeBron would give us a little credibility. <laughs> yeah. And if any other media outlets wanted to challenge us in a game, I think we'd do all right. Yeah, so we're already game yeah. for that, but yeah, you add LeBron yeah. in the mix, good. All right. He trades us, though. You just take down your seventh banana, my man? Bell it up, There we man. go, bell it up, banana man. Let's do this. <laughs> Let's go go Next one, Trey. Houston, we have no problems because after handling the Thunder last night, the Rockets have now won 16 straight games, tying them with the Celtics for most consecutive victories this season. They're going for number 17 tonight against the Bucks, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. Fill in the blank. The most impressive part of the Rockets' win streak is blank. It's their defense, baby. In terms of going up against the Warriors, they know that they can hang with the Warriors. They're 1-2 in offense with them. But is their defense good enough? Can they rely on that? And during this streak, they have been phenomenal, fourth in defense. It's the conference finals. Some of their shots aren't falling. Are they going back on the defensive end knowing that their D can't handle it? No. They're going back with the positive mindset, knowing that, hey, our D did it during the entire season. So I think that gives them a ton of confidence. That's a good one. I think the most impressive part about the Rockets' win streak here is they don't care. I really don't think they do. And that's a good thing. They mm. are so locked in on just trying Whoa. to beat those Warriors, probably trying to get that number one seed to help their chances of they beating the Dubs sure. in a seven-game series. Said it, yeah. it's a, I don't – I didn't kill my wife! <laughs> I don't care. Okay. Name the movie, Banana Man. Sure, not sure. Yeah. Name the movie, wow. Banana Man. Uh, that movie is um, Fugitive. Nice. Yeah. Harrison yeah. Ford. Yeah. Okay, well, yeah. Yeah. Correct yeah. answer. That was Banana They don't that care. Movie. They don't yeah. care, and I think that's a good thing. No, it's good, but what also is good is they've been taking care of the ball, which you've got to measure everything against the Warriors. The Warriors force a lot of turnovers, score off those turnovers. The Rockets have been taking care of the ball very, very well during this run. They haven't gotten sloppy, even though the, the wins have piled up. Rockets taking care of the ball. you got to take care of that banana. Okay, man. Number oh, yeah. eight. 
Take it down. Mm. Cram it. Come on, yeah, just jam it in there so yeah, we can bring the They're bell. not too mushy, so you can't just shove them in right? like that, uh, you know? I gotcha, yeah. Okay. Well, as he continues to eat bananas here, <laughs> as he <laughs> sort of picks his nose. <laughs> oh, 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 real sorry, hey, yo. <laughs> you got a sticker? You got a banana sticker there or something? All right, <laughs> we'll come back. We got a very solid Chiquita or something. trade has been consummated between Seattle and Chicago. Seattle trades to Chicago the fifth pick, the rights to the fifth pick in the draft, Scott Pippen, in exchange for the rights to the eighth pick in the draft, Olden Polonese. You look at the guys today, Blake Griffin, all these guys that jump out of gym, they've got nothing on Sean Kemp. And then you throw Scottie Pippen in there, who is just as a freakish athlete as Kemp, I mean, oh my goodness, they, they might have won some championships. What if the Sonics didn't trade Scott Pippen? You can catch that on Game Time tonight. All right, we asked you, what are some other NBA video games? You hit us up on Twitter, hashtag the starters. Trey, take it away. Yeah, these answers are bananas, and we got a bunch. For instance, Larry Angry Bird, Mortal Gortat, <laughs> Garrett Temple Run, Sonic the Wedgie Hog, good one, Medal of Bonner, Double Dragon, John Wolfenstein, tough one, G League of Legends, very nice, Isaiah Tomb Raider, Robert Pac-Man, Metal Gear Solid Play, there you go, Lee. Ah. Golden Tie Lawson, Buck Hunt, Turkey Kong Country, and finally, Call of Druti. <laughs> Druti. Good work, everyone. Hard to say. Good fire that buck gun. Tonight's pick and play Jazz Pacers should be a good one here. Already underway. Trey, Tass, and myself have the Jazz on the road. Banana Man Lee taking the Pacers at home. All right. Mm. You said you're not feeling too great now. Yeah. You're almost done nine bananas, yeah. but very solid play. Can you do it with your mouth uh, full? I hope so. Okay. It's a beautiful one here from the uh, Mavs. Look at it go round and round and round and round. <laughs> Sounds like your nose is Yeah. Oh, it's hot. Oh, yeah. It's not the best. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh-oh. Get your stems up, bro. Mm. Solid stems. Oh, sorry, go. yeah. <laughs> 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 All right, we had a wedgie last night. Yeah. Wedgie number 27 on the season. They are coming in banana bunches most recently. <laughs> yeah. uh, Portland, watch Ed Davis recover here to get Kylo Quinn. Robert packs him against the glass. Oh, that's there. A real, nice real nice. We played 963 games this season. We've got 27 wedgies behind last year's pace, that's for sure. I think he's still doing it. I think he's going to have a wedgie on the can tonight. Yeah. 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 Is that well, eight and a half? No, yeah, look, come on, take eight down. And a half. Oh, come on, man. Take to finish that one at least. Yeah. We saw you get to 10. Nine's fine. <laughs> come it's, on. It's 12 on the day. We're running out of time, Lily. All right, just Here relax, we go. man. Here we go. Just relax, yeah. Ring that bell. No. No, you got to eat it. You got to eat it. <laughs> it's not peeling you, you bananas. You don't get to peel it. The yeah. peel banana challenge. How many <laughs> bananas can you peel in half an hour? <laughs> at, least, at least he's legit hurting right now. Oh, yeah. That makes me a little happier. All right. Thanks Number for nine. joining us, yeah. folks. Nine Ks on the day, <laughs> nine bananas. Brace the night, people. <laughs> <laughs>